Uh, hello, my name is Mustafa Ismaili. I am a student at Chukurva University, Department of Computer Engineering. Uh, in this video, I will imp show the implementation of Adaptive Narrow Fuzzy Inference System with Python. Uh, let's start. Mm, before starting the uh, implementation, I use a GitHub repository to amp this model. Uh, the GitHub repository is here, Gregor Len, the contributor of the repository. Uh, let's start. Uh, <coughs> I just load the data. Uh, data's name is wine quality. The wine quality data has uh, some features like that, and the features uh, all uh, features have numerical values. And uh, for the implementation uh, uh, or the building model, I just use the two feature. The feature names are volatile acidity and Density, density. Uh, target for target value. I just use the quality column. Uh, next step is the scaling these value uh, these features into zero and one. The model requires that. And after that, I just split the data and training and validation. Uh, validation. I won't use it. After that, uh, for the def uh, Parameter defining. I just uh, I just use the FIS parameters under the my AMFIS script, and and the here are the features I use. Uh, after that, uh, our task says that uh, for the supervised method we need to use uh, twofold cross validation. And here uh, the splitting the faults and splitting the tr X train X test and Y train Y test. Uh, uh, after that. Uh, I just create a AMFES model with using the par parameters in here and after that I just compile the model the after the compilation and, and here is the uh, training part the training with using is I assume uh, in here uh, 15 ep epoch after the training I just append the his uh, I just append the, the results into uh, histories list, <coughs> and here are the results. And after the training, uh, the model can give us a membership functions, and here is the membership function. Uh, after the <coughs> training, uh, for the first uh, uh, fault, of uh, training uh, the graph like that uh, we can say the <coughs> model has not good performance uh, for the first fault because validation loss has uh, loss has higher value than the loss uh <coughs> and the second fault and the second iteration uh, we can clearly say the model has better performance than the first iteration because the uh, validation loss has a lower value than the uh, training loss and here uh, the graph says val mean absolute error and the uh, mean absolute error uh, mean absolute error actually is loss and the val mean absolute er error is the validation loss uh, the graphs like that and uh, that's it. Thank you for listening to me. Have a good day.